Today's Google Tech Tip is on Google Drawings. So I'm in my drive and right now I'm going to just go to New and you can actually create one in Google Docs but we're going to just show you how to do one without Google Docs. Go to More and then Google Drawings and then you get your canvas. So you've got a bunch of tools here. So let's go ahead and name it first of all. And now I'm going to do my drawing. So I'm going to come to my shapes, and you've got some shapes here. I'm going to go ahead and draw my shape. And I can make it different sizes if I want to. All right, so then I can change the color, or I can make it clear. And I can change the line color. I can change the line weight, the line type. That's a little annoying, but we'll try this. Okay, then I can add a text box, draw my text box in here, and I can just type. And then I can center my text. I can center it within the box. Whoops, there we go. I can change the font, I can change the size, and I can change the color. Okay. I can also add an image. So we can add an image in here. There's lots of choices here, but I'm going to go ahead and search and add this image. Now my image comes out kind of big. I can shrink it. And then I can also rotate it if I'd like. There we go. So the other thing is it's kind of annoying when you move one item, the other items don't move. So you can group your items. And I actually probably should have done that before so that I, let's go back to, there we go. So I can group my items by clicking inside the box and hitting Control A or going to Edit, Select All. And then I'm going to come over to Arrange and I'm going to ha going ahead and grouping them. So now they're all grouped and as I move it, it all moves together. So now I've got this great drawing and it should show up in my drive and it is, it's right here. But I can't put this drawing anywhere yet because I actually have to save this or actually download it as a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and download this as a JPEG and then I'm going to go ahead and open that up and it's in my photos so or it's in my downloads so now I have to actually go back to my drive and I need to um, do an, a file upload so let's see if I can find my photos pictures let's go to downloads and it'll take a few seconds for it to show up It's called certificate, so it's going to be in the C's. There it is right there. Open that up, and now it's coming into my drive. So now I've got it as a JPEG and also as a drawing. So now when I go to a new Google Doc and I want to in insert an image, I can insert an image and my image would be in my drive. We'll call it certificate. I should find it. There we go. And it's in there. Now I would only suggest doing it this way. If you're going to use this image in, in a lot of different places. Otherwise you can just go ahead, get yourself a new doc, and you can do a drawing right inside your new doc. So you can insert a drawing and you will get your canvas. So then you go ahead and you create your drawing and I'll just do something really fast. And then you save it and close it and it's in your drawing. Now one of the things that's a little annoying is if you need to move your picture, you need to make sure you break your text or break your, yeah, break the text instead of wrapping the text so you can move your picture wherever you'd like it. But there again you can um, 
go ahead and make it smaller if you want to. So that's Google Drawings. There's a lot of possibilities and it's a lot of fun to use.